Coming up, we've got a very, very special guest. All the way from Hong Kong, Vivek Babubani is a comedian who's here for the very first Comedy Zone Asia as part of the Melbourne International Comedy Festival, where the festival have brought out acts from Malaysia, Singapore, Hong Kong and India for their very first showcase here in Melbourne. Uh, please welcome a very, very special stand-up with a unique talent, Vivek! All right. Hey. Hello. Hey, How are you? Let's do an awkward, awkward hug as well. Oh god, this uh, desk is just uh, the wrong uh, shape for it. How are you? Have a seat. I'm very good, thank you. Welcome. Oh, this is fantastic. I'm loving this place. Oh, are you? It's yeah. the comfortable seating, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Finally, I'm there. Uh, oh, whoa. Fine decor. Well, oh, cool. that's never happened before. This is really before. comfortable. Nice. That's just odd. Well, yeah. That's me. I think it's time to introduce people to your new talent. I know that um, it's a talent that. Um, up to one billion people worldwide may share, and that is that um, you are an Indian who is able to speak Chinese. True, and it's Cantonese. It's just, Cantonese. Just to make sure that we're on the same page for everybody, they'd be like, wait, Chinese is not a language. No, that's Which true. Which one is it? Yeah, that's yeah. true. It I call it Cantonese. a superpower, so I feel better about myself. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Because the, the thing for me is that I get to go out and just eavesdrop all day. Uh -huh. With this face, just listening in, it's fantastic. Yeah, I do the same, but I do it in English. It's not the same talent, but uh -huh. still. You yeah, this face fools a lot get. of people. Yeah. yeah. Well, I thought since um, you speak Cantonese and I speak Cantonese, it might be nice just to start speaking some Cantonese because you've actually got a show entirely in Cantonese called An Indian... Made in China. Made in China, which yeah. is playing um, at the festival on the 18th of April. So maybe if we just switch gears now and just see how it goes. Ho moa. Ho. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to say that. 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 連字幕都唔識睇嘅，咁或者我哋可以誒用啲大動作，咁可以誒，即係誇張啲，誇張啲嘅，咁樣佢哋可以知道我哋講緊咩咯。冇問題，好，我哋而家講嘢先。好，我哋講中文字。好，嗯，嗰個我做唔到表情，中文字。我都唔識，寫寫出嚟中文字，但係佢哋唔識睇，冇問題。所以你嚟到墨爾本，覺得呢度點啊？習唔習慣啊？飲食啊嗰啲咁嘅嘢。我食咗好多嘢，即係其實我好開心呢度，因為。基本上好方便啦，即係同香港好相似嘅其實，只不過就我發覺誒啲、呃、人、呃、好人好多咯，即係我哋有時要派傳單咧，啲、哦、人唔要嘅時候，佢哋唔會話咁樣嘅，覺得、嗯、sorry 咁樣咧，覺得嚇、嗯啊、你要道歉嘅，原來又咁樣咁好人啲人，即係好禮貌，啲人好有禮貌，即係覺得誒好受歡迎。係啊，同埋佢好唔好意思啦、嗯？哎呀，唔好意思，我唔想要張傳單，我覺得我唔使啊嘛，我阻住你喎，而家應該係。Yeah, 但係喺香港根本啲人、呃、你知啊，香港你行都要行快一步㗎啦。係啊，因為太逼啊嘛。冇時間同你話誒，唔、哎、好意思。係啊係，快啦，同埋冇冇位咯，即係你派傳單都要咁樣派咯，冇、嗯、位嘅，好、嗯、逼嘅香港。係、嗯、啊，所以我連喺度搭搭地鐵啊，搭。誒叮誒搭嗰啲電車咁樣，係搭叮叮，啱啱叮叮嚟，呢個唔係叫叮叮嘅喎，係係搭電車。叮叮好笑咯，我哋可以講多幾次。係係叮叮咁樣睇啲字幕咁樣 ，He's taking the 叮叮。即係呢個係咪係咪唔講得嘅咩？叫叮叮嘅咩？係啊係，即係其實基本上我係慣咗一個好逼嘅 lifestyle 咁樣，咁啊變咗就我嚟到呢度，我覺得哇咁多空位嘅。點解可以坐喺個餐廳坐低，唔需要即刻走嘅？點解咁咧？所以就可能因為佢哋冇乜生意咯。係啊係，可能係啊，覺得你繼續坐咯，我想俾人覺得有人嚟食嘢咁啊。尤其是你係唔係華人？係啊係啊，同埋我最中意就去啲誒，即係去唐人街嗰度，就無端端即係講下啲中文咧，啲人係覺得。我係咪頭先聽到佢講嘢咁咧？係啊，跟住我就哦、oh, ，I don't know， 唔係 don't know what you're saying 咁樣，係啊係，所以好，我其實好好開心喺度，係、嗯、啊，所以我就每晚做 show 之前同埋之後咧，我都好中意喺條街行嚟行去啊，睇、嗯、有啲咩發生，同埋不停食嘢咯，不停食嘢，食啲好嘅嘢，香港咁咯，係啊係啊。咁講下你啲誒，你做棟篤笑用中文做啦，誒，你個 show 係一個鐘頭嘅，咁喺個誒六十分鐘裡面，你會誒即係講啲誒關於咩嘅誒題目啊，或者啲。其實其實主要都係講我即係、就是、我嘅身份啊，咁始終我一個印度人，咁、嗯、我又識講中文，咁其實好有趣嘅，因為其實我就覺得自己一個香港人嚟嘅。
。但係就人哋見到我覺得，咦，佢個樣唔似喎咁樣。嗯、即係有時我由細到大連我個名啲人都唔識讀過。即係我發覺好有趣就係我有一班 fans 咁樣，佢好中意我啲笑。都有嘅，都有嘅、哦。但係佢哋就唔識叫我點樣叫我咯、啊。即係諗下有班人，哇！我好中意。佢係咪咧？係咪即係好奇怪咁呢啲嘢？我以前讀書啊，誒、呃、啲老師要點名呢？咁佢哋又唔識讀我個名，咁好奇怪，即係好似我唔好意思咁呢。啲老師就咁求其嗌咁樣，咩、呃、咁我就誒得阿 Sir， 我叫咩得㗎啦咁樣係咪？即係呢啲咁嘅講緊我生活上，我發覺咦，我個身份帶到好多問題，但係其實好好笑嘅，因為始終我個樣唔同呢，人哋就有好多誤會㗎啦。有好多要求，而我係答唔到嗰啲要求，即好似話我一個印度人咁，好多人會話：你係咪成日食咖喱㗎？呢啲咁嘅嘢，覺得嚇、嗯啊、有咩可能一個人三百六十五日都食咖喱嘅咧？係咪？即係呢啲咁嘅嘢係分享緊我，我由細到大經歷過嗰啲有趣事咯。咁、嗯、其實我就發覺，始終我身份唔同咧，就我睇嘅世界都好唔同，因為我都講過就係我有個。特別嘅功能就可以講廣東話啊嘛，係咪？咁我就發覺其實我呢個能力咧，幫到我睇個世界好唔同咯。喺香港其實係咪有好多人好似你自己咁，係可以、呃、用英文溝通、用、呃、廣東話溝通同埋用中文溝通，但係係印即係係印度人咯、呃？都有好多識講嘅，但我就我識寫識睇添咯。咁我就好彩，即係嚟去啲茶餐廳坐低食嘢咁樣。咁啲餐牌可能寫中文咧，我識睇咯呢啲嘢。咁、哦、咪返學嗰陣時學中文？係啊係啊，我以前就要讀啲本地學校呢。咁即係我哋唔單止要識寫識睇，嗰啲毛筆都要識寫囉。係、嗯、啊，所以我我係即係好有趣，就我啲中文嘅文化仲多過印度嘅文化。咁、哦、反而香港出世嘅，係啦係啦，香港出世、哦，所以就反而我翻到印度就好似覺得啊，印度幾靚喎，嚇去旅行先咁樣係咪？即係呢啲咁嘅分別咯。咁我個我個 show 主要都係想講我細到細到大生活面對嘅問題，同時就其實好好笑咯。我覺得我嘅身份帶到好多好好笑嘅情況，即係好似我每次開口講中文啲人嘅反應啊，誒、嗯呃、我想識女仔啊，誒、呃、我屋企人佢哋嘅態度同埋我生生活嘅環境嘅態度，即係好似話我啲朋友都全部都香港人嚟嘅。係。咁我以我哋以前。出街咧，成日都會俾啲警察 check 身份證嘅，但係 check 我嘅啫喎，唔 check 我啲朋友嘅咁樣。咁、嗯、我啲 friend 就好中意玩我，即係可能會話啊，阿 Fit， 我哋今次賭錢，今日你覺得會俾人 check 幾多次咁樣？覺得哇，搞錯！但係通常我都輸嘅咧，因為一定 check 到好多次㗎啦咁樣。即係呢啲咁嘅嘢咯。咁我覺得其實好有趣嘅。咁啊，不如用一個。幽默同埋好笑嘅方法去分享呢啲，好鬼口話搞錯俾人歧視咁樣咧，即係呢啲分別咯。嗯、即係好似我我成日好中意講即係種族歧視呢啲咁嘅嘅話題，因為好個人嘅，我覺得。即係有啲人歧視，我覺得冇所謂，你咪歧視飽咯，係、嗯、咪？咁當我哋講緊誒歧視嘅話，我哋或者誒誒、uh, uh, 轉翻用英文講、嗯、，so we're talking about um discrimination。See very 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 deep topics. Yes, which is what we've been talking about. Not not the whole time we've been talking about food, but you know that from reading the subtitles, right? Um, but um, have you experienced um anything on your travels like around the world that makes you um feel a little bit um different? Um, I think what's happened for me is that growing up in a predominantly Chinese community, I was always the one that stuck out, like the odd man out. So it's never been a problem where like, oh, he's discriminating me again. Oh, he's seeing me differently. If anything, I like to be different. Like I always feel that if you fit in, you don't stand out. So if anything, my not fitting in is just fantastic. It just helps me just stand out. People remember me. You know,、right. so I've had people call me like, "Oh, you're a terrorist." You know, you look like a Middle Eastern. I'm like, you know, I'm Indian, right? This is very different. You know, a lot of these things where you can think think of it as like, "Oh, why are you doing that to me? What have I done to you?" You know, where I'm thinking that's hilarious. So you've never experienced any kind of feelings of negativity, like the the upward, you know, the outward portrayal is someone who's, you know, I enjoy being different. It yeah, makes yeah. me stand out. But internally, you never feel like it's a kind of a a, a, a point of like. Well, what has、Can、happened? I mean, there have been moments. Well, I, what happened for me is that、uh, I'd always question. I'm like, am I different? This is strange. Like growing up, I was I went to an all boys school,、mm-hmm. you know, and like some of the kids raised their hands, like, oh, teacher, why is there a girl in the class? And I was like, I'm a girl. You have really bad taste, you know. And then he explained, oh, because you have long eyelashes.、Ah. So I was like, oh, I guess you know, long eyelashes equals girls. So I went I went home, took a pair of scissors, and I was gonna cut it. My mom's like, no, no, don't do it, you know.、Yeah. So these kinds of things. I mean, there were moments where I wasn't like, huh, why are they doing that to me? But I'm like, okay, let me go fix it. Like maybe I just see discrimination as just a problem, and how can I fix it? And my way of fixing it is either through comedy or just being like, you know, I don't care. I say what you want to say. There have been moments where I really、uh, did not like my identity.、Uh, they were caused by women. Because they would not approach me or talk to me, because they'd be like, "Oh, this guy's so strange. Let's not talk to him."、And、there were a few years in my life when I was like, "Oh, I just wish I was just Chinese or just just normal guy," you know.、Right. But I think what has happened for me is because it was not a new thing. From the get-go, I'd always been the odd one out, so that became normal to me.、Mm. 
if I went to a community where I just fit in, I'd be like, hmm, I don't like this. No you one knows me. You feel bored, do you yeah, think? Yeah, exactly. You know, like, I, I feel like my life is like a, the pretty girl at a club where it's like there are no other women. Hold and all on, the guys sorry, are like, can we clarify? Are you the pretty girl at the club? Yes. Let wow, me have a your moment. sense of self is incredibly... Let me have a moment of dreaming where I'm the pretty girl in the club. Okay, right. Like, and the point basically is like, she doesn't want to be like, oh, look at her, look at me. But it's kind of like, oh, I do enjoy the attention. You know, that kind of angle. So, I mean, the way I see it is that I do kind of enjoy the fact that I'm the odd one out. It helps me deal with life and it makes, makes every day interesting to me. Whereas comparatively, if I was just like, everyone's very nice to me, being like, oh, hi, sir. I'd be like, come on, let's have some, let's be humans, you know? Let's make fun of each other. So I think it drives me, if anything. So I, 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 I'm not anti-discrimination. I'm not pro-discrimination. I'm like, just say what you want to say. Okay, All right? great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Vivek. We look forward to seeing your show. You can catch Vivek's show, An Indian Made in China, on the 18th of April in Melbourne Town Hall, playing at 4.30. And you can also catch Vivek with four other great comics from Asia in Comedy Zone Asia, playing every night at 7 o'clock, 6 o'clock on Sundays at The Regent, also in the Town Hall. Stick around because we've got heaps of cool people coming up. We've got the guys from The Chaser on Channel 31. We've got Wonder Women, a local Melbourne sketch group. And we've got a very special combination of people inside a dinosaur. So yes, come back. <laughs>